In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use shrink plastic to make shaker embellishments for your cards, scrapbook pages, or other projects. You're going to need some shrink plastic. I use Shrinky Dink brand. You're going to also need some stays on jet black ink. And I recommend a stamp positioner versus an acrylic block only because you're going to find that the more of these you make, the more you're going to want to make. And to save on time, it really does help to have that stamp positioner. Most of this video is going to be sped up four to six times. Now, I do want to note that I really enjoy this process, but it is time consuming. For my choice of color media today, I am using Copic markers. This is not a difficult project. However, once you start stamping these, you're going to find out that you really have to flip the shrink plastic over so the side that you stamped is facing down. Otherwise, your Copic marker nibs will be ruined because they will pick up and smear that jet black ink. If you make a mistake during the stamping process, grab some hand sanitizer, some rubbing alcohol, and a couple of baby wipes. Put that over the top of that transparency. Let it sit for, oh, you know, 20, 30 seconds, and then wipe it off with a baby wipe. You may have to do that several times. Set it aside and let it dry, and then continue the process. The stamping and coloring of these images took me about 45 minutes to do. That does include the fact that I manually cut each and every single one of these pieces out by hand and not with a die. You're really not going to be able to see the overall shape of each of these individual pieces once they shrink down. So you don't have to be extremely picky about it. You will still get the effect and be able to see what each and every image is. Now that all of my pieces are shrunk down and die cut, I'm going to go ahead and make a card. I did die cut my shaker element from just regular cardstock, and then I used some ink, which is this is, happens to be stamping up yellow ink, to uh, sponge the edges of the top of this jar piece. Once everything is all cut, I'm going to go ahead and start making this card. Here you're seeing me using some twine to make this jar look a little bit more whimsical. I'm going to play some music for you now as I finish assembling this card. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already and leave me a comment. I hope that everyone has a great week. Stamp happy and be a blessing. I will see you all soon. Bye for now.